So to begin with, this is the album that we got. It's we paid two hundred extra dollars for a leather bound video or album, which as you can see is not leather bound or well put together. You can see that these little metal rods continue to come out every time the album is moved in any way. When you open it up, it's kind of hard to see with the video camera, but there's glue on the photos, which you can see in person. This is actually a decent photo. There's a couple pages that are decent. Um, if you look here, you'll see that he slapped a four by six picture in a five by seven frame. You can see where it is not um, glued well, but in addition to that, he cut other pieces of mat and glued it inside this, this is a four by six and a four by six picture that he cut um, the mat all apart. And you'll see this throughout the entire album. It's, there's like bent up sides and this is a brand new album we just got. Like the pages are ripped. So obviously they were used pages that he put in our album. Um, this page is pretty good except for some glue on photos. Um, and also bent up pages and not glued down. Here's another um, two four by six pictures that he's cut apart and slapped on the matting of another paper or another matted page and stuck a four by six inside of a, of two five by or two four by six pictures. Very poorly put together, cut and pasted. Um, this page is actually decent. Um, these two pages are decent, again, poor matted um, pages, but decent other than that. Actually, this is, you can see the photo is coming out here. It's not glued down at all um, in there. These two are okay, except for some glue on there. Um, here, you can see that it's a um, dirty, roughed up page. Again, this is was just delivered to us. Here's some bent up pages. There's crinkle marks on here, on here. Um, like we've had it for years and he gave it to us like this. Um, here you can see he slapped two pictures on top of each other in a five by seven slot, um, which actually proves prior I showed you a five by seven slot that he slapped a four by six in and cut up the other two pages. So it's not like he didn't have that in his supply, he just chose to cut up pages instead. Um, this, the picture, I don't know that you can see, but here's a picture. It's not matted and it's coming out of its slot. Um, this, I don't know that you can see, but this is a glossy page and this is a dull matted page. So they don't, the pages don't even match. They're different colors. This is matte, this is gloss. Um, oh, here's more of his hack job. Um, he stuck a four by six picture in a four by six, or actually I think it's a five by seven slot, but going the wrong direction. So he just cut up pieces of matted paper and glued it on top of there, which the glue didn't even stay. Um, more glue on photos. Don't know if you can see that, but there's glue on the photo. That one's actually pretty bad. You can probably actually see that. Um, here is another hacked up page of my grandmother's that he cut apart, not even glued down as you can see. Um, I don't know what to use, but obviously not very good. And it's cut, he cut apart pieces of mat and glued them down on top of a four by six photo in a five by seven slot. Again, roughed up matted crinkled pages. Here you can see it's not glued down. Again, not glued down. Here's two more um, pages that are all cut up. You can see where he hacked it up and glued it on top. Here's a four by six picture that he placed in a five by seven slot. I don't even know what you call this. It's just a mess. Then here, he just plain old slapped a four by six picture in a five by seven slot. Nothing around that one. Um, more glue, I don't know if you can see that, but more glue all over the photos, all over his face, her dress, all over here, all over here, the picture's ruined. Again, you can see here that he glued down on top in the wrong spot. This page is decent other than glue on the photo. Um, again, here's a matted page and a glossy page. Don't know if you can tell the difference, but this is shiny. This is not two totally different pages that don't match. 
Um, here is a photo, if you look here, that he didn't, it's not even matted in there, right? Which there's no reason for that. It's the right slot. He just didn't bother to put it in there right. Um, and it won't move. Here is our wedding cake that, again, he cut and pasted, slapped little cut up pieces from other pages on top. And yet again, here's a, a, a matted page and a glossy page side by side. The pages don't match. Here, you'll see he slapped two photos on top of each other. He didn't even bother to separate them. Um, he glued them on top of each other. And you can see his fingerprint right there. There's glue and fingerprints all over this page. This page here, he slapped a four by six going the wrong direction. Oh, and it's not even glued down. Um, so there's all this space in here um, around the picture. This page is decent, except for you see this photo up in here. You can see down here, the photo is not even glued centered, so it's up. You, you can see the other photo from down here up in this one. Um, and again, glue on a lot of the photos in different spots. Um, and then here's the very last page that isn't even really attached. You can see his shoddy glue work, and that's the final page. Again, he glued pages from who knows what album and just slapped it on top. They don't match. This is matted. Doesn't look like any of the other pages. And this is the poor quality $2,000 photo album that we got from Jeff Shaper.